Angelo Amboy, and these are the stories making headlines on Capital TV. The fate of Makweni County will be known in seven days after a tribunal presented a report to President Uhuru Kenyatta recommending its suspension. In line with the County Government Act, the President has seven days to render his decision on the report and its recommendation. The Mohammed Nyauga-led committee said its decision was based on the fact that majority of the residents were unhappy about the constant wrangles pitting Governor Kivuda Kibwana against County Assembly members. Once the President renders his decision, he will forward the report to the Speakers of the Senate and National Assembly to initiate a suspension motion to be subjected to a vote. Members of county assemblies from four counties in the North Rift region have resolved to take the lead in the fight against cattle wrestling. The leaders who launched a peace caravan similar to the one being spearheaded by MPs from the region said they have resolved to embark on a serious peace effort to end the insecurity challenges in the area. The MCAs are drawn from West Pokot, Turkana, Samburu and Baringo counties. The launch was presided over by Deputy President William Ruto and attended by Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri. And now taking a look at the world of business, Safaricom's Board of Directors has recommended a dividend payment of 25.64 billion shillings. This follows its exceptional results of its share price, which was at 17.05 shillings during the close of the telco's financial year. According to Safaricom CEO Bob Collymore, the dividend payment represents 80% of its net income and is a 36% increase on 2014's dividend. It is also the largest dividend ever paid by a listed company in Kenya's corporate history. This was reported during the telco's 7th annual general meeting which was held at Safaricom Stadium Kasarani Indoor Arena. If you look at the annual results, uh, which we announced back in May, you'll see that we actually grew our customer base by 8%. Uh, and, and that's with competitors who were in the market offering uh, free calls uh, all day. Uh, and still the customer base has grown. Uh, we're continuing to see our customer base grow. And we will be announcing in, uh, in about six weeks or so, uh, two months, we'll be announcing the half-year results. And um, you know, we'll see where the customers have grown. I can give you an indication that they are continuing to grow. And now for the financial report. And now in the world of sports, Harambe Stars captain Victor Wanyama is happy to play out the campaign at Southampton after a proposed move Tottenham Hotspurs fell through. Wanyama says he is focused on reclaiming his place on the Ronald Coleman side. The Southampton boss did not field him in their last two games, including last weekend's 3-0 victory over Norwich that kick-started their English Premier League campaign, claiming the Kenyan midfielder star was not in the right frame of mind. And that's a wrap-up of the day's top stories. I've been your host, Angelo Amboy. For more on these and other stories, make sure you like and subscribe on our YouTube channel at Capital FM Kenya.